Hello, Ray Cassidy back again with another tutorial on getting your Google Plus business pages up to speed. Now, this particular one is for a business who's, you know, you've had you've had your first go at putting up your page. You've got some very basic details there, but you haven't really given it a lot of thought and attention. And particularly for the case where you don't have customers coming to you, you know, you might work from home, you might be you might have a small consultancy business like myself where you know I'm, I'm, I've got a bedroom office you know and I work do everything from there uh, and it's not really suitable to receive customers and so I tend to go out and visit people at their workplace or on neutral territory uh, it's also equally applicable to electricians gas men builders window cleaners who have perhaps started off on a Google Plus business page but the pressures of time mean you've just kind of left it half formed and again the customers don't come to you to get their windows cleaned you have to go to them okay first thing you need to do is to log in to the uh, Google Plus dashboard so I'll hide that for a moment I'll be back in a second on the personal Google Plus page move across to the home menu slide down pick up on the pages menu any pages that you own or have created or manage will appear here and you need to manage this page you end up with the very basic view of your Google Plus business page the next step to follow is to update some of the items in the business profile to do that we go across to the dashboard pop it open and find the profile item and the most obvious things that are going to catch your customers eyes are the profile photos and the cover photos so first of all let's change the profile photo normally there's a Google default image there click on the snout of the camera you should already have processed a photo for this these profile photos need to be at least 250 by 250 I'm back onto the screen to get to it from Google Plus drag the photo in like this shove that over there that's better there we go so I can drag the photo in and here we're going to use all of the photo because it's at the absolute minimum anyway We'll set that as profile photo and I'm not going to make any comment about that at the moment. We'll wait till we have some more material to promote. So cancel that little box would be my recommendation at this stage unless you've already got posts out there. Quite nicely it just uh, it centered that logo part of the image uh, nicely in the profile circle there. Next thing is to change the cover photo and we'll we'll use the other way of accessing the photo. It initially throws you up these samples but we're going to upload from the computer. Previously I dragged it into the space but you can just as easily and this is my m more habitual way of doing things click on the button that says select from the computer I'll just find my way to the right photo excuse me a second we found the correct folder now I'll open it up now the best size at the moment for these pro for these cover photos would appear to be about I think it's about 960 by 520 I'll just double check in the properties there there we go it's finally playing ball 960 by 540 you can see in that little uh, flag that comes out there okay so we'll double click the image has now uploaded into the editor I want all of that to be shown so we select that cover photo and mm, I've still got some juggling to do now to make sure that this fits into that space that that's changed this layout has changed in the last few weeks I think right so we've saved those items in the profile okay and now we're going to go back and change some of the business information items back on the original dashboard page and we're going to go down to edit the business information okay now it reckons it's actually picked up a hundred percent of what it needs so let's just check Galloway consultancy services now for a service area business this second section is crucial remember that you are not having customers coming to you you're going to them 
and if customers do turn up because of a Google listing they're going to be disappointed most days because you're out doing the job out somewhere else even if you're working at home in your little home office um, it's probably not the best place to be meeting customers so this little ticky box here I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location that's an important that's an important one if you do also have people there occasionally you are allowed now to tick this box but this is crucial if Google gets wind of the fact that you're not really a, a shop front a storefront where customers can walk in and actually expect to be met and greeted by a person then they will get rid of your listing just like that so tick that box now you've made your peace with Google about being a service area business you have two options of ways to show your reach or your your sort of chosen catchment area I suppose in this case what we decided was to use particular locations so they are the counties surrounding us this business particularly interested in targeting Edinburgh and Glasgow businesses but we also want to add in um, Newcastle and it's Newcastle upon Tyne so we click on add and it's pretty reliably picked up the right one sometimes you'll find a couple of options uh, I'm going to also mention Manchester now the second choice is that you could click on this second radio button and set a distance radius of miles or kilometers and this would be the equivalent of perhaps 120 miles that this business would be looking at but our chosen method for this particular business is those specific places and save the changes next thing that we need to edit is the contact information now very importantly if you're trying to attach yourself to a locality even as a service area business make sure you've got a local code number so for Carlisle based businesses that's an 01228 now sometimes you may operate your business from a mobile phone that's great you can add the mobile phone number there as well but you may not have got a separate landline number for the business and this will significantly handicap your ability to appear in results make sure that your website URL is accurate because if you want the backlink to your website then you need to make sure that that, that is um, accurate leave an accurate email address as well and make sure that it is an accurately spelled email address you can add more contact information and you'll decide whether it's going to be a phone number a mobile number a fax page a chat so you know something like a Skype or another email okay so we're going to save those categories now at the moment he's only in as a business management consultant now you can use up to five now in the old days before the changes to local listings that started to kick off a year or so ago uh, you could pretty much use any keywords you like as the category but now Google is being quite restrictive and only allowing you to use predefined categories that it has set out so I'm just going to pause the video for a moment Mike Blumenthal explains this situation very very well in his blog post at uh, blumenthal's.com he's, uh, he's quite a useful guy this Mike Blumenthal's because he actually provides a list of the uh, categories uh, for different countries as he seems to be well in with the people at Google and I think he's got that an updated version of that and you can download from there and I'll put a link new places dashboard the list is not pretty there's about something like 1300 categories that you need to plow through but plow through it you need to uh, until you become familiar with this and the categories that Google accepts and will work with and it's difficult to uh, to rank for the searches that you need to show up in so I'm going to take a pause while I find a couple of categories that are suitable okay so it's an interactive tool so we've started with the seed word consultants make a search 
and it comes up with these categories of consultant and uh, we've already got the business management consultant in use um, with no other categories available there so we'll try again for using a search for environment as he as this business deals in compliance with environmental legislation and quality controls and quality standards uh, an environmental consultant I think this is probably possibly relevant so we'll try that to add a new category simply click on the categories there paste it in and save it and then you would repeat that search until you've found five categories now you'll notice there there's a note that it's pending and there's quite an army now of uh, humans checking the the validity of these uh, categories and business listings so we'll pause while we find some more categories that will so I've conducted a pretty thorough search now and I've harvested some categories that may be applicable to this listing as well as some categories that are suitable for some other clients so next we'll decide which to add and of these three here that are slightly related to his business training consultant is the only one that's likely to produce any targeted visits to his website or his or his page so we're going to add that I've copied it I'll add that in control V and save and it's relevant because he does a lot of training in the business of keeping up to speed with uh, with uh, the various aspects of ISO accreditation and Achilles the rail contractors set up so description next thing we need to do is edit that this description was drawn up in the old Google Places uh, dashboard where you were limited to 200 characters so we're going to alter that and make that into a slightly more substantial description now as that 200 character limit has been removed so we're going to replace the old description with one that I prepared before which is a little bit richer in keywords and reads I hope a little easier so I'll just paste that in over the top of that and we'll save that and I'll give the old Google monster a little bit of um, a little bit more information about the business uh, to chew over back into the dashboard now so I'll just check the business information again okay so those are the basic steps for getting a reasonably well optimized Google Places business page or a Google Plus business page in place for when you've already got a Google Places listing but you yourself are not a fixed business you're always traveling out to the um, to the businesses to the customers to the clients that you serve